Right now the system is recovering the vapor pressure from the all of the tanks back into the recovery tank so because the day is finished so it's climbing at 95.58 percent pressure on the tanks we started at 28 psi and it's dropping it takes about an hour you know, to recover all the vapor pressure there's vapor in each one of these tanks that's pressure locked the tanks and um, you don't lose that you only open this tank, the column, to replace more plant material inside. And you only open this tank to access your extract out. So those are the only two tanks that you open up during the process. So those are, those are the only two tanks that you lose vapor in. But these tanks here and here, you know, we were recovering the vapor from it. So the vapor's traveling back through the green lines back into the liquid input, I mean the vapor input into this tank through the outlets of all these other three tanks. When those pressures go down to, you know, like zero or one PSI, then we'll consider the process complete. It takes about an hour. This is a two tank system. We have one tank here and one tank here. There's also an option to just use this one tank. So you use the solvent delivery tank to send solvent through and then it recovers from here back into the same tank that it was sent from, drains the extract into this bottom tank, and then the final bit of extract that drained into here that was carried through here with butane into this tank is recovered back into the same tank. And that process, you know, is a single tank system. The way it works right now, the way it's hooked up, the solvent flows into here, goes through the column, into the extractor tank, and then it recovers into this tank so that this tank can be stand standby, cold, ready to go, costs a little more money, you have a second tank, <clears throat> and then the same process happens, it recovers into this, I mean drains into this tank, and then the final bit recovers into this tank, or this tank, because while this one's getting cold, this one can be getting cold, because it takes an hour or two to recover the solvent, and then when that sol when this one's cold, then we turn the heater on to this tank, and it transfers all the solvent back through that line, into this line, and back into the tank where it started from. So you can, re you can recover into either one of those tanks. Go into the temperature settings. Go into the properties of each tank. Go into the chiller for each chiller. You can set its temperature, you know, 100. Set the temperature. Start temperature control. Anytime you want to see pressures, you can turn each one of the tanks on, look at the pressures individually, and the temperatures. Clear your alarms, perform pressure test, edit your extraction recipe. edit your solvents. In this particular extraction we're using butane. You could use isobutane, diethyl ether, dimethyl ether, alcohol, acetone, whatever you need to use. Show your solvent recipe lists. Clear all data. So your solvent recipe lists. We have three different solvents that we've got programmed in here now. All you got to do is enter the solvent and the program already knows what its boiling point is and what it needs to do to transfer the solvent from one tank to the other and perform an extraction recovery. The extraction process stays the same. The recovery process changes obviously with each solvent. These are the five most popular solvents so they're already pre-programmed into this. You can hit one of these buttons and it'll load all the values that you need for that solvent. Go back over to extraction recipe and now you can import that solvent into this recipe by clicking that area and it'll change it. Set up for automatic solvent recovery or you can stop the recovery process so that you can come monitor it. And uh, see all the extra buttons. 
here for loading preloaded data for a previous extraction. It's nothing like it. It can extract and pull out 98% of the oil out of four kilos and which is usually on the worst case scenario a pound to two pounds of oil per run. It can run depending on the wattage system that you've got once every hour or once every two hours with the high wattage with these low wattage 600 watt chillers it takes about six hours to recover all of the solvent but if you had high wattage it could be done in an hour faster than you can perform the operations that you need to perform to start your next extraction grinding your material loading your column etc